Hello guys, welcome to another edition of Blue Collar Gaming Unboxing. As you can see today, whew, we have got a treat in store. Yes, that is right. Ultimate Masters Booster Packs, the box, the ultimate powder awaits. We shall see. Now a couple of the actual chase rares we're looking for, the Lilianas, the Ulamogs, the Lands, and, and all around goodness. So with the handy dandy key knife, voila, let's see if it worked. Hey, I actually cut this time. I admit the key knife isn't the sharpest thing in the world, but it does the trick. And into the void. So let's open it up. Oh, you see it, don't you? Don't you? Gaze upon it, for it is glorious. Mm. I wonder what this could be. It could be anything. I'm kind of hoping it's a... Ooh, what do we want? We want the lily or the ulamog. Either or. Amazing. But the best shall be saved for last. Let's get our hands in here. Oh, yeah. Packs. So many packs. All the packs. Even more packs after those packs. And all those over here. Wow, it's like the Leaning Tower of Awesome. And a little more organized, a little more organized. And what to do with this box? Hmm. I know what to do with this box. The Void! The box has been sent to the Void. Okay, here we go. Oh, pack number one. Oh, look, it's crisp. It's fresh. It's to the Void. Well, that made it. That's off screen. It's in the Void. All right, we've got a Spirit. Ooh, Gamble right off the top. I like that. And it's foil. Look at the foilness. Enjoy it. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Stuff and sundries and mu munitions. Oh, so good. But basically, Gamble reads, pay one, go get a card, discard that card. It happens. So that was a great pull. Gaddick Teague. Oh, this dude is mean. He's a great commander. He used to be worth a lot. I think he's only worth like a couple of bucks now. But still, very awesome pull. Very fun and commander. What else did we get here? We've got... Eh, not terrible. Prismatic Lens, not bad. Add one man of any color. Uh, Spirit Cairn, whenever a player discards a card. Eh, it's whatever. Sis Drake. There are actually a few... Focus camera. A few actual good commons and uncommons in this set. If I can get the camera to focus, jeez. Yes, and it's not the apes. I'm just... Um, no, definitely not the apes. Let's see here. Uh, blood flow. Con blah, blah, blah. Camera is having a hard time focusing. Prey upon. That's always a good card. Target creature fights another creature. Staunch. Eh, not bad. Eh. Hey, we hit a foil gamble right out the gate. I am not going to be heartbroken or disappointed. Pack number two. Let's see what we get. Come on. Oh, I feel it. I feel something amazing is going to happen. Void. All right. Elemental token. Foil. Whatever that is. Vexing Devil. When Vexing Devil is the battlefield, an opponent may have it deal four damage to them if a player does that. You know, hey, one, four, four, three is not terrible. Um, I think this was seeing modern play a little bit. I mean, one turn. I mean, that's four power. That quickly, that that's pretty not bad. I don't think it's really good in Commander, but, you know. There are things outside of Commander. I don't know what those things are, but we'll find out. Let's see here. Gist plus three plus three. Eh, not terrible. Devoted Druid. Well, there's certainly a litany of infinite mana combos that can be done with that little elf right there. Good pull, good pull. Oh, and a Lab Man. Well... We have a couple friends in our uh, play group who love to mill themselves. Labman, Jace. Oh, it's it's so mean. So mean, but so good. Uh, let's see here. Frantic Search isn't bad. Seder Wayfinder. Foil, not terrible. Uh, we're looking, we're looking. Reckless Charge is funny. Uh, yep, that looks like it was pretty good. Hey, we got a Labman, we got a Devoted Druid, and we got a Vexing Devil. So, we are doing pretty good. Let's move on and open ah, ripping tearing sundering and void 
which pretty much is just my ground, my floor. Oh, I think you guys already saw it. So we got a foil Lotus Eye Mystics with Prowess. Not terrible. Oh, Leovold. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this guy is banned in Commander. Because of reasons. I believe he's banned. One of these is banned. He's either Eldritch, Spy Mesh with Optress, or this guy's banned. Or they're both banned. Either way, it's a really cool card. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn whenever you or a permanent you control becomes target of a spell or ability. It's it's card draw. It is Sultai card draw. So much card draw. Oh my god. I think he's banned. I could be wrong. Hey, if I'm wrong, let me know. Hopefully the uh, comments are open on this video. We shall see. Spider spawning is always a good card. Rally... Uh, the Helix 4 for 4 is not too bad. Uh, moving on, moving on. Skeleton Crushing Canopy. Do we get any of the land search? We did not. Oh, that guy's pretty good. All right. So far, we're doing not too shabby. We got our Mythic. We got a couple rares. We got a foil rare. Life is good. And we still got plenty of packs to go. Er, er, rip. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait. No, no. Still... Still struggling with this one. Freaking glue. Okay, we got a zombie. There we go. Enough said. Next pack. <laughs> I love zombies. I think they're great. Uh, double cleave. Uh, Tar creature gains double strike. Well, I think there's a couple of one drops to do the same thing, but not bad for those colors. Into, oh, there we go. There's a nice hit. Ancient Tomb. A commander staple. Oh, I am happy we got one of those. That is a very good card to hit. That goes to the awesomeness pile. Oh, good draw. Let's see. Our target opponent raised her hand. Eh, well, you know, it's like a, a thought seize for... Well, it's not a thought seize. I don't know where I was going with that. It's one, it's black, it's a thought seize, right? I mean, isn't everything like that just thought seize? No? Okay, moving on. Uh, Dagmore Salvage. Oh, God, that's a very good dredge card. There's a lot of good Wind Grace commanders and Gitrog Monster commanders. That's a that's a great staple, especially to fill your graveyard and start filling full of lands. Very good card. Uh, and a spider. I don't like spiders. They freak me out. Especially look at this one. Hey, look at this dude. Look at that stinger plus pincers. Oh heck no. That's like instant flamethrower. Rune snag. That's pretty good, especially in modern. Uh, an iguana, and um, nothing else. Patchwork, eh? It's funny. Death denied. Mammoth Umbra. Thermo Alchemist. Okay, not too ter terrible. Oh, Ancient Tomb though. What a good pull. You know, there's actually a full art box topper of Ancient Tomb. I actually wouldn't mind pulling. But as I said, wait till the end of the video to see that one. All right, what we got? We've got a Spooder. We've got Eel Umbra, Enchanted Creature. Gets plus one, plus one in Totem Armor. Eh, if you want to save something with a Totem Armor effect, I could see that. It's not too terrible. Into Sovereign of Alara. Okay. So back in the day, I had a very... Focus. Focus. Or not. Wait, are you? Wait, focusing. Camera, work with me. All right, well, I'll go down here. So back in the day, I actually had a... Uh, Enchantress deck, and it was awesome. This card was just hilarious. So whenever a creature attacks alone, you may search your library for an aura card. So what aura could you want to put on a creature? Hmm, how about Eldrazi Conscription? So you swing, you put Eldrazi Conscription on this thing, they have to sack four permanents, they get hit by four, well, let's see here, they have 13, so four, five, six, 17 damage. Ugh. Oh. Great all around. It was hilarious. Everyone's like, oh, that card sucks. I'm like, uh-huh. So when I swing this your way and you get hit with it, I don't want to hear a thing about it. And they did, and they subsequently were quiet about it. So, haha. -ha. <laughs> Fecundity. Whenever a creature dies, I... Cre oh. <sighs> this card's great. I really like this card. There's a lot of synergies with this card. I think it would probably be in the rare category if it says whenever a creature dies, just on your side. You are the only one who draws a card except everyone, but ah, uh, such a good card. Uh, real top three cards of your library, put one to your hand, you gain life. Now that's pretty cool. Hmm, especially if you're running a 
I don't know, a Laurel life gain deck with like extra turns and all of a sudden draw a double extra turn spell, gain 10 life. Oh, I could see that being played. Oh, I love this. Chainer's Edict. If you can't figure out how to get rid of those uh, pesky indestructible creatures, just make them sacrifice it. Problem solved. Let's see. Rune Snags. Any uh, Kadamas, Reaches, anything like that? No. Oh, well. Hey, we got some good things. Where's my rare? Where did it go? There we go. Sovereigns of Valara. Not worth much, but I said, in the right deck, it is a great card, and I thoroughly enjoy it. All right. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, that one was a little easier. Moving over here. All right. Elemental. Into a spider umbra and has reach. And the rare is Spoils of the Vault. Choose a card name. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal that card name. Then put that card into your hand. Exile. Oof. Hmm. I think there's probably like an ad nauseum combo where you can just be like, hey, I'm going to search for a card that doesn't exist in my deck. Exile your entire... Oh, or um, Inverter Truth... Jace, so some sort of Demir Millier deck. Yeah, I can, I can see this card being played. Not too terrible. Not my play style, but, you know, still having some fun. So we got a Phoenix. We have huh, Malevolent Whispers. Look at this dude. He's just like, he, 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 he. yes, speak to me, O oh devil. And the devil's like, yes, I Okay, it's it's like late or early in the morning, however you want to feel. So yes, I'm making up my own little stories. <laughs> but still, still an Ulamog smack at somebody. Often hilarious. Ah, a good Jin. I remember back in the day when this dude was originally printed, we lost our minds. It was like, oh my goodness, is that a 5-6 flyer? How can we beat that? It was great. It was fantastic. Ooh, Hyena Umbra. Still looking for those Kadama. Ooh, Fiery Temper's really good. Hey, there's a Kadama's Reach. That card's always worth. Eel Umbra. Eh, turn to Mist. It's a Blink Effect. Oh, not too shabby. Not too shabby on that pool at all. All right. So we're opening up a Vinge Vine pack. Do we get a Vinge Vine for the Vinge Vine? Only time will tell. All right. Elemental into Groundskeeper. Return target basic land. Okay, not too bad. Into uh, disrupting shoal. Eh, good. It's a counter spell, and you can, I guess, technically splice into arcane. So play an arcane spell, do that, counter it, get this back. So I, I guess it has uses. Uh, let's see here. Put a target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. Oh, if this was the uh, a black or red card, and you run this with Grinzo, the dungeon warden. Or it's either Dungeon Warden or the other Grins that let you play cards from the bottom of your library. This card would be amazing and broken. He's always good. I love the Hero of Row, especially in a Aura uh, Voltron deck. Very good. Ooh, Gari Thug. Another one of those modern dredge combo mills staples. Just all around good card for filling the graveyard. Uh, Hissing Iguana. Whirlwind Adept. Hyena Umbra. The Root Walla. I love the Root Walla. He's so fun. Grave Seven, the Wild Mongrel, a Foil. We need a, Ooh, Faithless Living. That's always good. All right. Not too shabby. Moving on to the next pack. Opening the pack, revealing cards inside. Okay. So we've got a Humunculus. Aw, the dude just walking around with a scepter. He's so cute. All right. Into a foil stream of consciousness. So target player shuffles up to four target cards from the graveyard into the library. That's actually not too bad. And especially since you were able to splice it into arcane. I can see that being pretty good. Into ooh, <laughs> one of my favorite cards. So I have an Omnath commander deck. And it's mono green. So not a terrible lot of board wipes. But I do run this in there. Just because it it's it works. I mean, especially my Omnet deck is Voltron sub theme, so I don't mind sacking him, playing him, equipping everything to him. But just having everyone else sacrifice color permanence gets around indestructible. Ah, uh, just amazing card. Can't say enough good things about this. So oh, we got another fecundity. 
A boonyard worm. Wow. Okay. That's a... Uh, if you ever figure out how to play Mono Green Mill or Green Dredge, that could be huge. Uh, Treasure Cruise. God, I hope this card gets banned in Pioneer so much. This card in Pioneer en enables so many combo decks. Oh, it's disgusting. Ugh. This guy's pretty fun. Draw a card, discard a card. The, he's, he's mad. He's loony. He's the mad prophet. He speaks of doomsdays and cats and dogs living together in harmony. He's mad, I tell you. You heard it first. Ooh, Pulse Marasa. I do love that card. Uh, more spider embryos. God's willing. <laughs> God's willing. That card. Oh, that card. Yeah, we remember those good old standard days when that card was in rotation. Whew. Those feather decks were uh, mean, to say the least. All right. Another pack. Let's see what we can pull from this amazingness. All right. We start off with a Spark Elemental into ooh, a Foil of Faithless Looting. Well, if that wasn't still banned in modern, that thing would have been worth a pretty penny. Moving on to Squee. Oh, love me a Squee. I ran a oh, Rakdos, what was his name? Judith. A Judith deck, and I had so many infinite combos. Squee is the number one enabler. Now, this is the one. Let's see here. This is the graveyard to hand. Then there's the original one, which is uh, goes to exile or something. Anyway, you can play them no matter what. So they're so low to the ground mana cost. So I was just like, play it, sack, play it, sack, play it, sack. Great card. Absolutely fantastic. Kitchen Sphinx. Still a staple. I mean, there's still many infinite life triggers you can do with this card. Great card. Can't say enough good things about it, especially in modern. Um, playing it in Commander, there's a couple of decent things you can do about it, especially if you're playing... Oh, what is that? Uh, black, white, green combo. Uh, well, anyway, as long as you can play this with like a Machaeus on the battlefield and remove counters, you can just gain infinite life. It's great card. Absolutely great card. Anger. Well, <laughs> anger's just good. I mean, Commander Staple, especially if you're in red. Put this in your graveyard. All your creatures gain haste. Fantastic. Circular Logic's not terrible. Not a great Commander card. Frantic Search is always good. Uh, fire and ice. Eh, not terrible. Accomplice, prey upon, defy gravity, conviction, generator servant. There's actually a couple CEDH uh, combos that revolve off a of generator servant. Getting that mana early, getting it out there, it's not a terrible thing. Ooh, all right. Not too bad on that pack. Got me another squeeze. All right. And toss. All right, we have a ooze mark of the vampire. I actually used to play this. Uh, what was that deck? Uh, Soren's dad. I forgot what his name is. But just have a vampires gain life link, all kinds of awesomeness. Eh, it's not a bad enchantment. Life link is always good. Into a tall rand. This dude by himself. Ugh, he makes a lot of disgusting commander decks. Especially you just go spell slinger or counter everything into oblivion and go wide. It's disgusting. Not my play style, but eh, it is what it is. <laughs> I've seen so many Drakes before and just like what my my world for a board wipe. Uh discard a card, sacrifice the land, search your life for up to two lands. I actually ran this in a popper Tatiova build. And just the amount of lands it's able to get, refill your hand, draw cards. This card right here was definitely an MVP of that deck. Uh, Hero of the Tower, Apprentice Necromancer. This guy's pretty cool. Um, if you know you can get in a good one shot with something, like, uh, hmm, what is that? World Spine Worm. That's always funny. Hey, you destroyed my World Spine Worm. Oh no, I'm going to sack this ring back, kill World Spine Worm, get three five fives. Just stupid little combos like that made this deck amazing. Ah, oh, Archaea Mancer, always a good card. Faith Fetters, Whirlwind Adept, Unholy Anger. Okay. <laughs> Miming Slime. So many slimes. 
Not too terrible. Moving on to the next pack. And a tossing. All right, what do we got here? We've got a spirit into a Skizback Marauders. Okay. <laughs> cool artwork and spoil. Life from the Loam. Again, Dredge Staple. Return three target land cards from the graveyard to your hand. Dredge three. Wind Grace. Get Rog Monster. Any of those lands matter deck. This guy right here. Broken. In a good way for them. Bad way for everyone else who can't deal with it. <laughs> ah, one of my favorite little uncommons. So, big creatures. Um, or run this in black with uh, Dictative Erebos out there. Any sack outlet. And it's like, oh, I'm going to make you sack your biggest thing. And now it's mine. Hilarious card. Especially with all the Eldrazi. Ah, fun times to be had by me. Not all. Just me. <laughs> Another Frantic Search, another Iguana. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it for that one. All right, more packs, more packs. My kingdom for more packs. Oh, uh, and open and tear and rip and open, tear and rip. Okay, we got Zohombe into a Wild Hunger. Eh, it is what it is. I don't think it's um, any play whatsoever. Ooh, Containment Priest. Man. So, this thing right here is pretty cool. Especially if you have a pod that has token decks and you know they can go wide very easily. It's just like, oh, I'm going to play Divine... What is it? Divine Visitation. Divine something where every time you make a token, instead of that token, make 4-4 four, four Angels... It's like, ha, I'm going to make 15 tokens. I'm going to flash this out and ruin your day. Great card. Love it, especially in a sort of control staxy build. Pretty, pretty good. So, Stream of Consciousness, that, that. Buried Alive, one of my favorite cards. Especially I have a zombie deck, so it's like, oh, I'm going to put the three biggest things I can get. Hopefully, they don't get Tormod scripted, but if they don't, I get to revive them. Good times to be had by all. Think twice, another foil, Gurmag Angler, that is again, Dredge and Delve staple, that card is just mean. Uh, Guild Mage, okay, not too bad, I do like a good old Containment Priest, so far this box not too terrible. Hitting some fun things, hitting some good, fun. wow, this, I'm just ruining this pack, oh my god. Jeez, that just did not open. Okay, there we go. Hey, look, it's Talrand Drakes. Freaking Talrand and his infinite counter spells. Hey, look, it's a foil rune snag. I do like this. Rune snag, especially in modern, very good card. I think it's still legal in modern, or it might not be. And two, Lava Claw Reaches. Um, it's. <laughs> I've actually had a couple people win with this card before. It's just one of those things like, oh, it's just a land. Don't worry about this. And then tap three. Oh, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, by the way, did I show you all this mana I have over here? And they hit you with like a 15-2 and you're like, ow. Like, seriously. Ow. Or Key of the City, Rogue's Passage. So, not too bad. Not too bad each. This card. <laughs> oh, my gosh. In a, in a Delve deck or a Creature Heavy Delve Dredge deck, Tassiger. You can add a lot of mana and do a disgusting amount for a Torment of Hellfire. Ask me how I know. <laughs> hey, we were just talking about Rogue's Passage. Very good card. Uh, draw three cards, play an additional land this turn. Oh, fantastic, especially in Simic. Uh, Flight, Seder, Skull, Walker. Nothing to write home about, but not too terrible so far. Moving on. Rip. Destroy. Mame. Okay. What do we got here? Zombie. Starting out good already. Into a Just the Wind. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Or Madness. Eh, it's not too terrible. I mean, it still costs one more than an unsummon, but the foiling looks cool. I get behind that. And, hey, speaking of our land kick, so this one's pretty cool. Every time you attack with it, and then when it attacks, put a counter on it. It's still land, 
But when it goes away, you still keep the counters. So he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> very good pull. Very good pull. I do. Miraculous Recovery, it costs a lot for what it does. But just to instant, instantly return target creature card from graveyard to the battlefield is, is great. If you can play some sort of um, black-white deck right there it's like oh i got rid of your phyrexian obliterator yeah about that yeah now you're gonna have to sacrifice more things freaking hilarious uh destroy tart type creature not bad sleight of hand always a good card uh think twice rick the swerve yep that seems pretty good to me all right well we've got the land kick let's see i think all the lands are in this one so the Demir one, the Gruel one, Lava Claw. I think I know Celestial Colonnade is in this one. Uh, oh, there's the Humunka boy again. Look at him. He's out there. He's like, I'm holding my staff. Although that staff has pointy edges. So don't make fun of him because you'll probably get a pointy edge to the facial region. Uh, Golgari Charm. Ooh, all creatures. Yeah. That's not terrible. Um. I don't know if it's seen much play anywhere, but, you know, giving all creatures negative one to unturn, especially if you do fatal damage, it's like, oh, well, it's indestructible. Yeah, but I'll give a negative one counter and then just dies. Always funny. Ooh, a Glenalindra. Now that card is great. Again, with that persist mechanic, as long as it doesn't have a counter, there's many ways to give this just infinite counters, infinite counters, infinite counters. So very good pull off that. Uh, Majoring Network, not too terrible. Buried Alive, one of my favorite cards. Penumbra Worm. Can be interesting. I just, the effect, I, I don't think it should, it probably sees play anywhere, but artwork's awesome. So, Rune Snag, another Fetters. Uh, Ophel Snoot. Ooh, another Kadama's Reach. Winning. Uh, of Battlefield, put target creature. Wow. Huh, that's, uh, I mean, three for uh, one man of any color. That's not bad. Plus, you get a recursion. Huh. I have to look into that. That's not terrible at all. Heliod's Pilgrim. Always a good card, especially for searching auras. Nice. All right. That was just a, a good filled value pack. Not too shabby at all. Oh, that was a masterful open. Did y'all see that? That was like I've been pro doing it for years. All right. Elemental. Into a Thermo Alchemist. So super ping 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 ping. Foily's pretty. Ooh, look at it. Look at it dance in the foily. So much foily. And oh, <laughs> all right. So back to basics. It's like playing a Blood Moon. Okay. Most of my decks are my Omnath decks. My only single color deck. Everything else is multi, and I do love to run the expensive duels. So when somebody plays that, I, I cry a little on the inside, but I used to run a mono blue deck that had this. It, it's just a great card for three mana. You do not realize how much this hurts people until you play somebody in like a hardcore five color deck that either can't find their chromatic or can't get their lands online. Oh, it is just as bad as a blood moon. It just destroys them. Oh my God. So good. Such a good card. Oh, Shriek Maw, always good, especially if you can double the ETB effect. Very good card. Uh, whenever creatures put into a graveyard from Battlefield. Okay, that's not too terrible. You just gotta have land open, but not too bad. Forbidden Alchemy. Oh, Demir is such a good card. Especially you get to put the rest in your graveyard. It's like, oh no, do I have recursion? I'm playing black. Maybe I do. <laughs> and yeah, I usually do. Let's see. Eel Umbras, Crushing Canopies. Another one of those cool artifacts. Awesome. All right. Another good pack full of the values. So much of the value. And Into the Void. And the Void just came back and hit me in the foot. All right. Fairy Rogue. Ooh, Bitter Blossom Token. That's pretty good. Into a Vengeful Rebirth. Return target card from your your hand. Good. If you turn a non-land card this way, deals damage you. Ooh. 
six though. But if you're in gruel, there's a lot of nasty color combinations you can do with that. And to uh, deal a lot of damage, oof, that's a uh, that's pretty good. And the artwork is beautiful. Is that a Seb McKinnon? Yep, it's a Seb McKinnon. Makes sense. Into ooh, Maelstrom Pulse. Love, 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 love Maelstrom Pulse. Especially in modern, it's it's just so good. It's like, oh look, I play a go wide strategy. Well, I have a three drop, and it says goodbye to your go wide strategy because they all share the same name. Fantastic card and epic pull. Mr. Retrieval, oh god, Spellsunger deck, staple, conflagrate. I do love me a good old conflagrate, especially if you have infinite mana. It's it's great. Uh, can't be blocked. Uh, okay, not too terrible. There's the Mad Prophet again. Ooh, an Archaeomancer. Moan of the Unhallowed. Create some zombies. Unholy Hunger. Fume Spitter. Another Ulamox Crusher. I do like that, especially the Annihilator too. It has to attack each round, but it's an 8-8. I mean, come on. That's going to hurt whoever it hits. Moving on. We're down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oof. 7 packs. Still haven't found us an Ulamog or a Lily, but, you know, there's that box topper waiting. I have hope. So look, it's an ooze. So many oozes into a blood flow connoisseur. So I guess it's like a carrion feeder, but a vampire carrion feeder. So a carrion pyre or a vamp feeder. One of those things, yes. Into a Daybreak Coronet. I do like this card. It, you have to have another aura on it, but once you do, 3-3, three, three, First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. So it goes back to that whole Sovereigns of Alara thing. Oh, I enchant that. Swing in for 17. Oh, look, it's still alive somehow. I'll swing it again and get that. I'm going to gain 20 life and just ruin everyone's day. Fantastic card. Played it a lot. Oh, this guy. One of my favorite infinite combos with Judith. It's uh, Judith and, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Micaeus the Unhallowed. And something else to give the counters. No. Yes. Something like that. Basically, you sack this to Gom Bombardment. Micaeus brings it back. Sack it again. You just keep on repeating, rinse and repeating. It's such a good card and a very fun infinite combo. Blast of Genius. Rise of Tides. Hmm, that's a lot of zombies if you're playing a Spellslinger deck. Fiery Temper is always good. Last Grasp. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's go over here and open up this Lily pack. See if we can actually hit said Lily. All right. Starting off good with a zombie. Into a Fume Spitter. It's foil. Cost one. It's a horror. So, you know, it has that going for it. Oh, Caracas. Oh. I do love this card, but it's Bandit Commander. And um, you probably can see why. I'm just going to casually play this. Oh, I'm going to board wipe. Um, okay, I'm just going to return my commander. Never have to pay tax, ever. Anytime you want to target it, return it. Just return it. Return it, return it, return it. Yeah, Bandit Commander, but absolutely great card. Counter Squall. Very good card. Uh, a little Hasty. Unburial Rites. Fantastic card. Love this, especially if you go that Azurius route. Can be very useful. Uh, Terramorphic Expanse. Ugh, Band Treasure Cruise. The Root Walla. Okay, another God's Willing. We always love that God's Willing. Not too bad. Kind of sad that our mythic was a Crocus. But, you know, what you gonna do? It is a great card, though. Oh, it doesn't even tack when it comes in. It just has value for days. Oh, I can understand why they banned it, but still, oh, it hurts. Mir Servitore. We may have keep blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, if you have a lot of them, it does a lot of things. And into Gorio's Vengeance. Oh, I love this card so much in Commander. 
it is it's fantastic especially if you get a splice and dark cane but if you're playing black you're gonna be gaining loads of life anyway so just return a phyrexian return a oh my goodness anything big nasty yeah just oh return it one of the ulamogs oh so good love that card Ooh, another vengeful rebirth a travel prep okay uh furnace celebration two damage not terrible um think twice go good to do to do to do to do to do to do 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 okay Gorio's vengeance definitely a good hit happy about it all right i think there might be hopefully another mythic lying around in this box somewhere Ooh, a worm that's pretty you could probably almost use that as a uh, one of the worms for worm coil engine. Just scratch it out, put lifelink. All right, so we got a spark spitter. Discard a card, create a three-one elemental. Eh, okay, too bad it has to sack itself. So it's like good, but eh, not so much. Dig through time. Oh, I do like a dig good dig through time, especially a two mana dig through time. Oh my god, if you're having trouble finding anything, if you can't find the top seven cards, you're doing something wrong. Very good pull. Huh. Slippery. I, I've been saying this wrong. I always called it Boggle. It's Boogle. Ooh. Boogle. So, Slippery Boogle. Still a really annoying deck to play in Modern. Hey, look, it has x I'm going to put everything in the world on this and you can't target it. Uh, that's when those sack outlets come in handy. But Chainer's Edict is banned in Modern. So, after have to rely on those Lilianas. Uh, not bad. Not dead. Another Terramorphic. And that's about it. Okay. So we're getting a ton of value in this box. Loving it already. All right. Down to two more packs after this one. And into the void. All right. Elemental. It's the Mad Prophet. Oh my god, Doomsday. Cats and dogs living together. Ah. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. And. Ooh, Phyrexian Tower. Now that is definitely a hit. Oh, this, this card is just good. It's just good. Everything about it's good. Because you're playing black and you get sack creatures. And usually when you play black and sack creatures, stuff happens, which adds to more things happening, which lets you bring back those things you just sacked. So yeah, yeah, everything about that is good. And I'm happy we got one. Grave strength. Well, it's not bad. Reckless worm, Stitcher's Apprentice. Ooh, another pulse. That's pretty good. Uh, resurrection. No. Oh. Huh. If that was instant speed like the other one was, that'd be pretty good. But still, four mana return a creature card from your graveyard to battlefield. Not bad. Ooh, that's always good. Another one of those really cool artifacts. All right. Man, we, uh, as I said, the value train is a rolling. All right, what we got? One more pack after this to pull something amazing. All right. Uh, foil, Swift Reckoning, destroy target type creature into... Wow, okay. I yeah. Mm-hmm. Um there it is. <laughs> Demonic tutor all day, every day. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, you can never have too many oh my god, and eternal witness? What this pack is just littered with goodies. Wow. Alright, what else we got in here? Uh da 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 da, -da, -da Gurmag. Generator serve. Wow. Yeah, this um this pack was worth it. Holy crap, demonic tutor. Well that just that made everything right there. Alright, last pack. Alright, pack. I don't want to put any pressure on you. Okay, I mean I'm not that kind of person. But there is a demonic tutor. So um You're gonna have to do something. Okay, here we go. Spider. Into a high priest. Into, well, one of the lands we were missing. <laughs> so I think we're missing the Demir one and the Celestial Colonnade. Uh, but it has reach. Three for a three four is not terrible. Uh, tap land, though. So depending on how 
fast you want to build your deck. I think it's still good. Still taps for the colors most people need. So still a very good land. Uh, oh, a blink effect. I do like Fiend Hunter. Fiend Hunter is really good. Another Gagari Charm. Uh, Prey Upon. Ulamox Crusher. Bombardment. Not too terrible. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Oh, oh wait. I forgot. We do have this. This box topper. Hmm. What mysteries could it have? Oh, watch. We're going to open up. It's going to be like a kitchen, Finks. And I'm going to be so disappointed and sad. Okay, what do we want? We want... We want an Ulamog. Full foil Ulamog. Oh, God, I'm nervous. Oh, I opened it. Oh, I opened it more. Okay. Let's see. Is this the back? Is the back? Okay, it's the back. All right, here it is. In three, two, two and a half. One, two, no, two and a half. One, oh God. Ah, just do it already. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, um, yeah, that, that's a hit. A foil full art Tarmogoy. Modern staple. Woo! Wow. That um that was a hit and a fifth. Wow. This uh wow. I tell you what, man. This box has been straight value. No no real bombs, no lilies, no ulamogs, but I mean, gamble full up oh, box topper, goif, demonic tutor, Phyrexian Tower. Oh my goodness. This is a value train right here. Oh, man. What a good box opening. What a good... Ah, feel good. Happiness abides throughout the kingdom. Yes. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, man. If you're looking to pick up a box of Ultimate Masters, I might know of a place to go get it. It is a got game over in Sanford, North Carolina. I think they still have a few more boxes left, so... If you want, uh, feel free, head over there, talk to Tim. He'll hook you up with a box. And in the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.